Aries. Aries, welcome to Sag Life Tarot. I'm Shannon. I'll be your tour guide on this energy joy ride. Pray with me, won't you? Divine creator, source, energy, universe, vibrations, Holy Spirit, holy angels, guardian angels, ancestors, mother and father, humbly, we come before you in gratitude. Thank you. Goodness, mercy, love, joy, peace, long life, happiness, joy, prosperity, patience, protection. From me to you, Aries, so mote it be. Aries, I hope you had an amazing, wonderful day. We're in the middle of the day, and it's such a beautiful, warm, calm day. Peaceful, very super moon last night. I'm sure you'll see, be able to see the moon today. It was supposed to be super last night, and I missed it. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. King of Swords. Somebody is cutting off people, telling people. Somebody is in the energy of not taking what they were taking before. Somebody's attitude has changed. Somebody has a renewed sense of perception because somebody has been trapped in their mind for a very long time. But with this white on, I feel like somebody is coming into a different, like a, a phase of innocence. Coming out of understanding what you've been through and searching yourself for the truth. Searching yourself for the truth because it could be a lot of lies that have been told to you. Somebody could be could have been in a drought for a very long time. And then you got the nine of wands. So constant, something you can't see. Something you're not seeing. Something you are unable to uh, focus on. Something that is right in your path you could have for a while not been able to see the path you needed to take. For somebody, that would meant letting go of a lot of people. This is the Astro Matrix Tarot deck. You have one major arcana that is the Hermit energy. Somebody has been searching, so searching. Somebody is leaving behind everything, the whole house everything left the fire lit and everything it's something out there something could have called your attention something could have you could have heard a call for you from your heart from your soul the universe is calling for you to go on a mission to find what it is you are seeking to make you happy somebody here is not emotionally happy you could have a firm understanding of what it is you want here what you want to do but somebody still caught up in their mind still caught up in your mind about what it is that you need where you need to go for somebody traveling is here somebody is definitely going on a journey and right now you could have been standing guard somebody's heart is guarded not just your heart is very guarded very guarded but somebody here is focused on intellectual instead of emotional okay and then you got the eight of wands so something is coming very swiftly into your energy some good communication here a sudden change a shift in everything again you could have went searching for what makes you happy somebody could be searching for their meaning of life their purpose here you got the fool card again going on a journey somebody is leaving everything behind taking a leap of faith this is blind faith you can't see it funny how it's blind faith and her eyes are covered so somebody you could have it in your mind going back and forth. Should I, should I not? But you already know what path you're ready to take. It's just a matter of you putting your um, plans into action. And it looks like somebody is taking full action. 444 on the clock. Somebody is taking the action to leave behind. Somebody left all of their possessions, left a house behind. Aries, what you got going on? You done left everything. 
for a new beginning. Just up and left. And didn't I say um, this feels like with this white, all this white, somebody is stepping in today innocence. Like the innocence of, you know, uh, when they say you got to be reborn again or you have to die to your old self on the live to you but you know what it means it means not your actual self but leaving behind the things that once were or how you used to be so somebody is definitely stepping out on faith here oh my gosh and then you got the fool that's another major arcana that's zero that's starting all over again back to this innocent stage so somebody is coming out of and it could be the innocent way of understanding your new path walking on a new path and things being totally different from where they used to be somebody here is doing a lot of meditation on your own life Again, somebody could be very strongly looking for their purpose, leaving everything behind, traveling here, letting go of old people so you can manifest what it is you truly want. This high priestess says somebody's intuition, somebody is divinely guided here. You need to listen to your gut. This is somebody who needs to trust in themselves. The devil energy is here. So somebody could be leaving behind. Uh, uh, this is shadow self in this energy. So again, all of this shadow work is going. Somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul is what they call it. Yes, somebody could be seeing things so differently right now. But somebody is definitely in the energy of having... Uh, somebody could be materialistic. You could have people in your energy. That is the cause of you leaving behind certain things. Also, the cause of you looking deeply into yourself because you could have been hanging around people that have negative effects, uh, bad intent for people, always speaking negative on other people. And it caused you to look inside of yourself to realize this is not the type of people you want to hang around. This is not the type of person you want to be. So somebody could be leaving behind stalemate energy, leaving behind people that's codependent, toxic relationships here. Somebody is moving into their higher self. Somebody could be having dreams about um, certain things and they come true. Somebody's um, intuition here. Uh, somebody could be able to speak things into existence. Somebody is able to jump in different realms. Mm. Uh, I'm hearing... Uh, uh, for somebody, somebody's psychic ability is very strong right now. You could be getting people coming to you and just randomly asking you for advice. Because it looked like you got it all together. But somebody here with this Eight of Swords, um, you could be mentally going through the motions of trying to figure out where you're going, what you got going on, or her patience. As many times as them cards shuffle, that mean you are being called to be patient. Something is unfolding that you cannot see that is in the background. Look at this. Get focused. To attract what I want first, I get clear on what it is I desire. I envision it for a minute or more every day, feeling how it would feel to have this in my life, what I would do, how I'd react, and who I'd tell. I picture it all through my continual alignment with my desires to begin to flow into my physical reality and divine timing. That is your mindful message. Let's get some inner witch oracles. You get four major arcana. That is stability, structure, your manifestations becoming reality. Okay. Um, you got the high priestess. That's that cancer energy and uh, water energy. Okay. So something is moving fast. You got a lot of cards with water on this. Somebody could have been in a drought, but this is coming to an end. You get with this devil energy that is a Capricorn. So somebody could be seeing uh, things in a different perspective, but seeing the path that you should be taking. Inner witch check in. 
the heart of the issue, what is blocking me, how to embrace my magic, my answer from the divine, the conclusion and development. Again, didn't I just say somebody is divinely guided here? So you could be waiting on your answers, garden gate possibilities, all type of possibilities are opening up for you. Let's get shadow work. Somebody definitely going through their shadow healing. Okay, you see how that card jumped out like that? Aries, envy, look at that. Somebody envies your life. You could be publicly living a good life. It could look to people like you have it all together. Y'all, I just told y'all with this um, devil card, you are leaving behind codependent relationships and you have dependency here. Envy. Turn green eyes into a force for self-improvement and inspiration. So take all of this, all of this envy, this hatred, and turn it towards, I hear, transmuting the energy for your power. Mm. So you transmute negative energy into your power. Find strength and self-sufficient and self-sufficiency and empowerment. Again, you could have been codependent upon something, but look at how that flower is growing. And it's a light behind it, letting you know that your path is being illuminated. Look at that butterfly. Lit up. Lit up. Somebody is coming out of their shell. People are watching you, Aries. They watching you. Let's get some true love. Angels, true love. Distance, the separation you are experiencing is necessary to help your relationship grow. Somebody is at a distance from their partner. But again, we did say that it was a lot of traveling for your own inner strength. Difficulties, jealousy from others may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection. So you could be having people that's um, speaking against you. Again, you got envy here and jealousy. All right, Aries, let's get some LeClaire. What do you want to say, LeClaire? Speak to Aries. Speak to Aries, LeClaire. Number five, tree, health, growth spiritual vitality karma and from the past somebody from the past coming back and they might be some karma you might have to serve up a little karma uh this does say spiritual because we know you are on the spiritual quest to find your higher self number four house home family warmth security privacy comfort something at home is about to change you get five and four this is downgrading but then we get 20 so five times four equal 20 i don't know you multiplying things right now aries you multiplying and it says garden so everything again this says network so all of the people you could be on the internet and people absolutely love your internet energy you could it's a public audience fame outdoors um definitely get outdoors get you some sunshine ground put your feet on the ground somebody is definitely in the public eye somebody could actually be growing a garden audience and fame somebody is about to be famous some, again, somebody could be calling, people could be calling your name, putting your name in groups, sharing your posts. Your uh, following could be going up. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Didn't I just tell you somebody out here manifesting real good now? This is uh, angels of abundance. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward let's get a dream card for aries please give me a dream card thank you close your eyes and think about your dream being alive and real how do you feel cherish this feeling and keep it as your compass to follow it okay didn't this card just tell you that um Picture it. I picture it all. And this card just told you to put your feelings into it. But what did it say? Feeling how it would feel to have this in my life. So definitely use your feelings. Let's get two of the zodiacs. Let's see who is very 
significance in your energy, Aquarius. And who else do we have? Aquarius, which is stability, change, freedom. Okay. And Capricorn. Capricorn very strongly because you got Capricorn out here like three times already. Okay. Let's get some uh, soulmate manifestation. Give me a soulmate manifestation. Give me two of these for Aries, please. Two soulmate for Aries career it might be a while before we get to meet because i'm totally focused on my career right now either that's you or that's your somebody who you are about to meet remember networking is very important right now and it also you also had distance creativity i'm excited to collaborate with you and curious to see what we can create when two creative souls join forces, the results can be profoundly beautiful and rewarding. Mm. So you're about to come with come through with somebody and it's going to change your career life. This is money manifestations counselor. Your compassionate nature makes you a good listener. Your advice is sought after and your opinion is a valuable commodity. Didn't I tell you people might just come to you because they know you got the answer. They know you got it, Aries. Research. Before you make your next move, it's important to do some exploratory research so you know all the possible paths you can take. Mm. Let us get... An everyday enchantment. What is the overall energy? Queen of Wands. Well, Aries. Now, normally I would get the book and read this, but I've read it already. <laughs> I don't know if you want me to read to see you, Aries, but I feel like people don't like for me to read them the story. But it's a beautiful story. And it's such a big book. And what's the point in having a book if you're not sharing a story? You know what I'm saying? But I'm a, uh, listen, I'm going to sum it up. I'm going to summarize this story because I can't help it, child. The book be saying so much wonderful things. Like you don't want to miss what it's saying because everybody, every word that's being put into your atmosphere, everything you are picking up and learning is focusing, changing, adding to your world. This is live wire. And the way she's talking about it is how direct she is, how music is exceptional. I do want to point this part out because everybody was saying something about quite a few celebrities said this same thing, how they become, um, look, I translate spellbinding scores through my body entrancing the musicians as my fingers flash in complicated runes. Like she, did you, I translate. So basically in spell binding. Okay. So basically she telling you she, she is bound by spells when she is involved in her music, a live wire. And it's so exciting. Look at the, the fireworks in the background. And she was speaking about how, as much as she know that this group of people all together have the best music, it's going to get better every time they play. Like they get better and better every time they play. But wait, because I could have swore she said on her something about, listen, she said they expect a demure woman. <laughs> Am I so demure? <laughs> you know, I seen that trend on there every year. That was annoying, right? But she was saying, you're not mediocrity. So it's time for you to stand up. You are a diva. You are a control freak. You heard what it said. Okay. And critics accuse me of stealing the limelight. But everybody has the opportunity to shine. I could have swore it said something about, see, I want to read it because now I say that. But I know it said something like she was possessed i'm possessed when i'm on stage and if that makes me mesmerizing and a little unsettling so be it did you hear what i said she said i am possessed i don't know i heard that beyonce was uh encompassing the energy of um oh my gosh i can't believe um what the uh, 
what the angel was, who the angel was, who it was, who she said. Why can't I think of it right now? That's funny because so um but the energy uh is of the princess of love or something like that. I can't think of what her name is right now. But basically, you are the limelight. You are the reason why people are watching. You are the reason why people feel like they can come to you, get all of this energy from you. You vibrant, healthy, inspiring. People are watching you. They want what you have. They are so caught up by you. And remember, you have people who envy you, people who are jealous of you. So you might have a lot of people that's just watching you because they can't stand you, Aries. It's okay. Be you. We started with a prayer. We will end with a prayer. Oshun. That's her name. Oshun. Oshun is supposed to be the queen, the goddess of love or something like that. And they like, oh, Beyonce says she's possessed by Oshun. Okay. So she want to be possessed by somebody who gives love and like these things are possible. Did you read the Bible? He said, drink of my blood. Yeah. Think about that one. For you are my rock and my fortress. You lead and guide me for your namesake. Psalms 31 and 3. Again. Aries, I love you guys. I absolutely, yes, I am controversial. And I am a bit extra. So, thank you so much for being here with me. If you made it this far, put it in them comments. I'm here, girl. Mm -hmm. I love you guys and I'll be back real soon with another general message for you and until I do authentically you do you I love you